This puck control drill is a three-part progressive billing on our previous pylon slalom drill. Rather than attacking the pylon on the outside, here you see our player attacking on the inside, creating a three-quarter turn situation. Shoulders up. Doing so not only Blade challenges on our puck up. control skills, but at the same time, puts us in a position where we must engage our outside skate inside edge with short C cuts as we exit the turns. In order to increase your range of motion while turning, especially to the forehand side, look to cross hands over, top hand back, bottom hand through. This will lead to increased control throughout the extended turn. The first progression, similar to slalom drill number one, is a little slip move self pass. Make sure to pass the puck to a position you can skate into and grab on exit. This is an in tight example of puck control without the puck actually being in contact with your blade. In the last progression of this drill sequence, we look to turn short of the pylon while reaching around. In this variation, it's very important to maintain a wide stance while turning and to look to engage outside skate as quickly as possible. While turning, make sure to get the top hand away from your body to increase puck control range of motion. Make sure to try and maintain a wide stance while turning, as not only will it allow for increased balance and support, but again, also putting you in a position to be able to power out of the turn with outside skate pushes. So as much as this progression challenges our outside stance puck control abilities, putting ourselves in that position also works our skating.